The topic of my today's presentation is about uh, mortality, in-hospital mortality, and risk factors for mortality of COVID-19 in patients on chronic hemodialysis. So, many authors have reported that patients on chronic hemodialysis are prone to infection, including COVID-19 infection, due to uremia-related immune system dysfunction, a coexistence of many comorbid conditions, like obesity, hypertension, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. These patients had poorer prognosis than general patients with COVID-19. Majority of them require hospitalization with prolonged duration and uh, have higher mortality rates compared to general population. Based on these findings, the aim of our study was to assess the outcome and risk factors for mortality from COVID-19 in patients on chronic hemodialysis. Our study was retrospective, observational, single-center study that included 71 patients on chronic hemodialysis with confirmed COVID-19 treated in our COVID-19 unit in the period of 15 months. Medical histories were used to collect data related to demographic characteristics, laboratory parameters, treatment, and outcomes of the patients. So, the characteristic of the cohort. 55% of the patients were male. The mean age was 67 years. The mean had a vintage was 57 uh, months. Hypertension and diabetes were the leading cause of kidney failure in our patients. So, a uh, majority of the patients were admitted at our COVID-19 unit on the sixth day after achieving the positive test for COVID-19. The mean hospital duration was approximately 10 days. More than 80% of the patient at admission required oxygen therapy. Uh, regarding the comorbidities, almost 50% of the patient had hypertension and cardiovascular diseases. More than 70% of the patient in our uh, cohort had kidney failure and two other comorbidities. That means three comorbidities. The therapy, more or uh, fast all patients received antibiotics and more than 80% of the patients received oxygen therapy and corticosteroids. The further analyze uh, and comparison between the survived and diseased patient. The univariant Cox regression analysis was used to compare and to explore the risk factors of death in patients with COVID-19 on chronic hemodialysis. The results showed that, then, that non-survival group of COVID-19 patients on chronic hemodialysis had uh, higher levels of lactate dehydrogenase on the first and fifth day of hospitalization, higher levels of D-dimers on the first day of hospitalization, the higher levels of creatinine kinase on the fifth day of hospitalization, higher level of C-reactive protein, and these patients tended to have higher needs for oxygen therapy. On the other half, the survived patients have higher levels of albumin on the first and fifth day of hospitalization. For all other analyzed demographic and laboratory parameters, there was no statistically significant difference between survived and diseased uh, patients. However, the multivariant analysis show that only serum levels of lactate dehydrogenase on the fifth day was the only independent predictor associated with mortality in COVID-19 patients on chronic hemodialysis, and it was higher in diseased uh, patients. According to another study performed also in our clinic, uh, our internal data of more than 140 patients, uh, the overall in-hospital mortality of the general population with COVID-19 was 25.5%. That means that COVID-19 patients on chronic hemodialysis has uh, had much higher mortality rate compared to the general population to our unit. So, 
In this study, also comorbidity that was most significantly associated with in-hospital mortality was pre-existing pre CKD with odd ratio more than 3.3 uh, for these patients. Uh, our data were similar to much larger multicentric studies of more than 330,000 uh, patients on chronic hemodialysis. So, risk factors in this study for mortality were diabetes, uh, hypoxemia, dyspnea, elevated white blood cells, CRP and ferritin, which were associated with adverse outcome. Another study, also in tertiary unit with COVID-19 patients, uh, showed that predictors of mortality in this group of COVID-19 patients were uh, age, initial levels of CRP, lactate dehydrogenase, hemoglobin, and initial abnormal chest X-ray uh, as a predictors of mortality, similar to our studies. So, in conclusion, the need for oxygen therapy, low albumin levels, high lactate dehydrogenase, D-dimer, creatinine kinase, and CRP levels were associated with the outcome in HADA patients with COVID-19. But only the levels of lactate dehydrogenase of the fifth day was the independent predictor associated with mortality and was higher in diseased uh, patients.